Hello mates and lasses, this is 155mm bringing you another video. <clears throat> hey, what's going on guys? I'm Bob. I'm going to start doing some more different, <clears throat> not different, but <clears throat> they're going to be go for one videos. And they're going to be talking about the uh, uh, chronic signs and symptoms and diagnosed and undiagnosed illnesses found in Persian Gulf War One veterans. It's going to be showing facts on uh, <clears throat> basically <clears throat> ruling out uh, this depleted uranium hoax, <clears throat> this vaccine hoax, the burning oil wells, uh, the PV bills hoax, <clears throat> all the hoaxes that are basically being thrown out here by these people out here who are looking for their piece of the pie, who, who basically, who basically are, this is their job now. They got it. Now, this is how they keep their jobs, <clears throat> is to tour around, <clears throat> is to tour around the world, or tour around the country, being an expert, uh, instilling these hoaxes <clears throat> on the, they, that they're the authority on what made all the veterans sick. But see, you got to think about this. Remember this. This is these people's living. This is these people's jobs. This is how they keep their jobs now, is to tour around and, and tell their expertise about it. Uh, you got one expert over here who's an expert on the vaccines. Uh, they jump in and grab their piece of the pie, and they do that for the non-deployed veterans with go for illness. And you got the other expert over here who's the expert on depleted uranium. They jump in on this side with their, their piece of the pie. Of course, they throw in their... Uh, the depleted uranium is what caused the veterans to get sick, but they, they don't say anything about the non-deployed veterans. Well, here... The vaccines were what caused those those individuals to get sick. Yeah, that's what it was. The vaccines and the and the burning oil wells also caused the the, the Gulf War veterans to get sick. The burning oil wells and the PB pills. Yeah, that's what it is. But the the non-deployed vets. Oh yeah, it was just the vaccines that did that. <clears throat> it was just the vaccines that, that caused them to get sick. Even even though we, all of us got the exact same chronic sign multitude of chronic. Signs, symptoms, and diagnosed and undiagnosed illness. Oh yeah, two different, two uh, totally separate, different issues caused the exact same symptoms. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. The vaccines cause exact same symptoms as depleted uranium. I mean, that's just, I mean, just exactly. I mean, it's just mysterious. Maybe they just shot us up with depleted uranium. Oh man, maybe it's conspiracy. Get out of here, dudes. Get out of here. For real. Common sense. People use common sense. And I'm talking to YouTube as a whole. And this goes for a lot of stupid people here on YouTube, man. A lot of stupid people. Okay? And I will say, man, there are some people here who ain't who ain't stupid. There are some people there I've, that I've met that ain't stupid. Like, for one, a guy named Semi-Auto Rifle Lover, no, his name is, uh, his screen name is Semi-Auto Rifle Lover 1. This guy's smart, dude. I mean, he can sit back and look at these idiots and look at all the stupidity. And he, and he puts facts and common sense. You know. <clears throat> There's a lot of stupid people here that believe a lot of stupid, ignorant stuff, man. <clears throat> I mean... How's depleted uranium going to affect, affect non-deployed vets? They, they claim that depleted uranium affects, okay, the deployed veterans. They claim that that's why we got sick. That's a lie, dudes. How's it, how comes it, how comes the non-deployed veterans got sick, man? <laughs> it's, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. It's so stupid. <clears throat> and you want... You all wonder why I got a bad attitude here, man? With the stupidity of all these people running around here trying to keep their jobs, man, off the backs of Gulf War veterans? Stupid, man. Now you understand why I wear my t-shirt, man. I got both these medals on my DD-214, and I'm going to keep on wearing it. <laughs> Shit, these people are just stupid, man. I don't believe anything. I don't even believe anything these fools say, man. I got to look at the facts from now on, on everything. That's why I look at the facts. I have to see facts. Just because somebody tells me something, I don't believe anything, man. Anything. And that's a result of this Gulf War. I don't believe, I don't believe anything, man.
believe anything they got to say. I look at the facts. And uh, if y'all follow my the Kings of Battle channel that I have, I put up a channel on here called the Kings of Battle, and that is just a reference to artillery. But uh, I put up some good stuff over there. You guys want to go check that out as well. Uh, facts on what caused all this uh, go for illness. And <clears throat> in fact, I referenced uh, a video over there of something that happened recently back in uh, September of uh, uh, September of last year. Uh, they were uh, over in Halabja, right? There's some people over there that was doing some construction over there. And they're trying to build a park. And they started digging through this area. And they already knew that there's a plane that was, uh, that had crashed there. And that plane was uh, one of Saddam Hussein's planes <clears throat> that carried bombs during the uh, Anfal campaign back when Saddam Hussein bombed the Kurds back in 1988. Well, this plane was shot down and it went down or whatever, and it went down and dug itself in the ground. Well, seven excavators went out there, and they tried to pull that plane out of the ground, and they didn't know that they didn't know that, that that plane had two chemical bombs in it, two unexploded chemical ordnance bombs. They had a cocktail mix of Saddam's biological and chemical warfare that was still sealed in there, airtight, sealed in those bombs. Well, they started pulling the plane out, then they found the bombs, and they decided to start pulling the bombs out. Well, one of those bombs, they pulled it out, they started pulling it out, and that bomb accidentally ruptured. Now, you got to remember, dudes, this was what, these chemicals have been in these bombs for, was about 24 years now? 24 years inside these bombs, in airtight, sealed, contained. You know, just like some canned tomatoes, right? You know, it lasts for a long time or whatever. Well, this biological chemical warfare mix inside this bomb have been in this airtight container. And they started pulling that bomb out and accidentally ruptured. Well, immediately, all seven of these individuals got asphyxia. They uh, they had to, they had to start, they started like gasping for air. And they got to get, had to move out of the area to catch their breath. They didn't die. Not no no one dropped to the ground like you see in the movies. Oh oh you see you see in Hollywood. Oh my gosh, gas attack! Oh oh oh! And then you fall. You see him fall down and, and die. They didn't die. <clears throat> That's not how Saddam's chemical weapons work, guys. Go read about it. It's facts. What I'm talking about facts. Go over and read on it. Halabja unexploded ordnance. Google on it. Go read about it. All seven individuals just <clears throat> had a problem catching their breath. Once they gained their breath, they started feeling sick. Anybody who's deployed to the Persian Gulf knows or remembers that either you got sick or some other people around you, you remember getting sick. <clears throat> well, that's what it was. And the, the seven individuals, <clears throat> they got sick and they, they all went to, went to the hospital. Okay, they all ended up going to the hospital to get treated. You know, they drove themselves, whatever, went down there. And uh, <clears throat> their first symptom, their first symptom. And if you go look at my Kings of Battle channel, I put up pictures also of one of my first symptoms that I had when I was over in country over there, which was a rash all over my face, started all over my face. Okay, it started very little back then. <clears throat> but like I said, it gets worse now. It goes all over my face. It goes up inside my scalp. And I got pictures over there of that rash if you want to go look at it. Well, a rash just like that started on all seven of these individuals. It started inside uh, right there when they got to the hospital. And then the, uh, the, head, the head person of the uh, Department of Health, the head department of, department of Health, the head guy of the Department of Health, Iraqi Department of Health, he came down there. He was nowhere near that bomb. He was nowhere near the ordinance. He didn't come into contact with that bomb or nothing. Those seven individuals, they were there inside the doctor's office. They had not been decontaminated. They were not decontaminated. So that gas or the chemical cocktail mix of biological chemical warfare that they were exposed to 
was on their skin. Okay, the head guy from the Iraqi Department of uh, Health, Disease and Health or whatever, he came down there and he touched one of those individuals. Now listen to what I'm saying here. <clears throat> Remember, deployed veterans, non-deployed veterans. Deployed veterans in the areas exposed to these chemicals, non-deployed veterans. Nowhere near, nowhere exposed to these, these, these chemicals. They were stateside and they got sick. Now remember, uh, deployed veterans. All right, the equivalent of those, those deployed veterans were those seven individuals who were in the air with that bomb when it ruptured and it got and that contamination went on top of them, went on them. Okay, think of it, think of it like that as the that as same as the as the deployed veterans. Okay, the seven individuals went to the hospital. Okay. The head guy from the Department of Health, nowhere even near the bomb, touched one of those individuals, touched his, touched his skin that wasn't decontaminated. He got secondhand exposure. He got the rash too. Okay, veterans who are deployed come back home. They went if they weren't properly decontaminated. The equipment, <clears throat> excuse me, the equipment, the vehicles, their TA50, etc., come back home. Non-deployed veteran touched that. Boom. Exposed. You see how that works? You non-deployed veterans see how that works? I know I got one guy who always comes to my videos. Hey, man, what about us non-deployed Gulf War illness? What about us non-deployed? Well, there you go, man. That's what I've been trying to tell you. These are facts. Go look at it. The Department of Health guy came in there. He touched one of those individuals. He got secondhand exposure. He got the rash. <clears throat> the only thing... The only thing that can cause secondhand exposure is Saddam Hussein's biological chemical warfare combat that was engineered to cause sickness, dudes. Okay? Burning oil wells, depleted uranium, PB pills, anthrax shots. Okay, anthrax shots on the non deployed veteran side. Those are good excuses for what caused this, but. None of those cause secondhand exposure. None of them. <clears throat> so, how does anthrax vaccines in non deployed veterans cause the exact same multitude of chronic sign symptoms, diagnosed and undiagnosed illnesses found in Persian Gulf, Gulf deployed veterans as non deployed veterans? How does that happen? Doesn't happen. Can't do that. There's no way vaccines are going to cause the same thing as depleted uranium. No way. <clears throat> Burning oil wells. PB pills, no way. It's not gonna cause. It's not gonna cause the same thing. And and and, and nothing. How did the Kurds in 1988, before there was any vaccines, any anthrax vaccine, no PB pills, no burning oil wells, no depleted uranium? How did they get Gulf War syndrome? And they were in 1988, before the Gulf War even kicked off. They got bombed by co by a biological cocktail. Excuse me. <clears throat> they got bombed by a cocktail biological chemical warfare agent by Saddam Hussein. <clears throat> in fact, that same, <clears throat> in fact, that exact same mixture that I just told you about that you can go over and Google on that lasted for 24 years in that bomb that just gave those individuals that rash, one from first-hand exposure and the other one from second-hand exposure. That exact same chemicals I just told you about is what caused the exposure and the secondhand exposure. And no, that and the chemicals that were in that bomb were the chemicals that the uh, in the Anthol campaign that the Kurds were hit with. The Kurds who have Gulf War syndrome. I mean, everybody wants to keep spinning this depleted uranium thing, man. They want to keep spinning their uh, their vaccines. You got the vaccine expert over here. You got the depleted uranium expert over here. They all want to tell you, oh, man, hey, hey, it's, your, it's their job to run around here telling you all about it. Tell you all about it, man. Keep their jobs. Me? Mm. <laughs> it ain't going to fly with me, man. Sorry. It ain't going to fly. <clears throat> Leave no vets behind. That's my channel. You put all two and two and you put the facts together, 
The facts show that there's no way. There's no way any of these things. There, the facts show that there's only one thing that caused this, and it was Saddam's engineered combat that was made and engineered to cause this. All right, guys. Respectful citizens carry firearms. Criminals carry weapons.